Okay, and uh, I apologize that my, the title of my talk uh, has changed, but that's my fault, because uh, I've just recently visited uh, Clemens Pupe in, in Karlsruhe, uh, and uh, we did significant progress on this paper and um, had great fun. Uh, and I think that our perspective on the whole thing has changed. So um, <clears throat> we are talking, we will be uh, talking, I will be talking about Condorcet uh, domains. So first, what's Condorcet paradox? Um, <clears throat> so everybody knows uh, uh, what, impo what uh, important uh, figure uh, in French Revolution Condorcet was and how important he was as a scientist. He was first uh, to try uh, to apply probability theory to social choice. Well, uh, he noticed that sometimes majority relation can be intransitive. Uh, for there are two situations here. We have three persons, three alternatives. So three persons choosing among three alternatives, and ha they have preferences. Uh, a preferred to B, preferred to C. B preferred to C, preferred to A. C preferred to A to B. So these are cyclic preferences, and majority relations behave badly. <clears throat> for example, if you ask them to compare A and B, two of them will vote for A, first and third. So A will win. If you ask them to compare B and C, then first and second will vote for B. So B will win over C. Uh, and if you ask them to compare C and A, uh, two of them will vote for C, uh, and so C wins over A. So uh, majority relation is intransitive. You cannot decide what's better for this society. Uh, OK, so and uh, this is a similar, um, similar situation. So uh, what is uh, Condorcet domain? So you can try, uh, you can think of um, finding a Condorcet domain as kind of a agreement in society. So to avoid coordination, certain coordination to avoid undesirable outcomes so that majority uh, can take intransitive decisions. For example, you can, uh, uh, and of course you have to prohibit uh, one of these orders and one of these orders, at least two orders you have to prohibit to get transitive majority. So for example, you can, you can choose these uh, four uh, linear orders and, uh, and society can agree on using only these, or you can choose these four uh, orders. So uh, the difference between them is not quite clear from, the pic from this, but if we put it on uh, a permutahedron, um, what is permutahedron? Permutahedron, that's a polytope whose vertices are linear orders or elements of symmetric group uh, if you are an algebraic, uh, has, a, has algebraic background. So, and um, in this polytope, Polytope edges are drawn between any pair of orders which differ by a single switch. For example, here you switch uh, from uh, A and B. That's a single switch, and uh, they are neighbors in the permutahedron. So uh, the first uh, domain uh, was uh, uh, graphically described by domain D1, graphically described by this. So it is connected in this graph. And the second uh, is disconnected. So, uh, and in the, uh, a long uh, literature existed on uh, Condorcet domains. Uh, so, um, Monjardet uh, was one of the important figures because uh, these two guys, uh, Hemini Nimbois and Bella, wrote PhD thesis under uh, Monjardet. Then at some point, uh, Peter Fishburn got uh, strong interest in Condorcet domains. And Galambos and Rayner did some important work too. And all of them, uh, uh, most of this work was, was about connected uh, domains. So that's domains of the first type, but not the second type. So those domains who are, who, which are subgraphs of the um, permutahedron graph. 
recently, very important work uh, have done uh, Russian um, um, from Central Institute of Mathematics and Economics, Danilo and Kershevoy, um, and I will mention them slightly later. So our innovation is that we make uh, all domains connected. How do we do that? So let's uh, say that the order R is between uh, two other orders, R prime and R two prime. If uh, R agrees with uh, R prime and R two prime whenever they agree, or mathematically it can be written uh, in, in this way. So um, an interval uh, of uh, between two orders. Uh, that's all linear orders that are between uh, R1 and uh, R, R, R2. Um, <clears throat> say, for example, here, um, these all orders uh, are be everything between CBA and ABC, uh, and the BAC is between ABC and BCA, and I will give some uh, more examples later. And that's important uh, that we, uh, we uh, <clears throat> uh, now uh, say, uh, we, we now declare two um, linear orders from the domain uh, neighbors if there is nothing in between them. Um, so, um, <clears throat> uh, like in, from in permutahedron, uh, two neighbors have nothing in between them. Um, and uh, so we, we get the associated graph uh, gamma uh, D um, after that. So uh, now uh, in the associated graph, both domains uh, are connected and there is no real uh, reason for making a difference between them. That's one of our innovations. So Condorcet domain is closed if majority relation uh, corresponding to any opinion of the society is also an element of this domain. So you do not go anywhere outside. And maximal Condorcet domain, if it's, uh, if it's not a proper superset of any other Condorcet domain. So the, the two... Uh, uh, little domains in the first slide were both maximal. So uh, Condorcet domain, uh, if, if, if you have a majority relation on some profile with odd number of waters, and if it's not in the Condorcet domain, you can add it and it still will be a Condorcet domain. So in particular, this means that um, every uh, Condorcet domain is contained in a closed Condorcet domain. And con closed Condorcet domain uh, contains in the maximal Condorcet domain, and maximal Condorcet domain is necessarily closed. So um, I apologize. I, I have to introduce another uh, object. Eventually, it will appear that all these are the same thing. But... Um, uh, it's not clear uh, now that they... So let's introduce median domains. So what is median domains? Um, for every three uh, linear order, there is a median linear order in this domain, uh, which is between any pair of these, between R1 and R2, R1 and R3, R2 and R3, and if such a median uh, order exists, it's always uh, unique. Uh, for example, let's see here. A, B, C, D uh, is a median of these three orders. Uh, let's check that it's between the first two. So the first two, uh, they uh, agree on A, A ranking A, C, and D. They rank it in this order. And this also agrees, A, C, D. Now, Another pair, they agree on B and D, and uh, A, B, C, D also agrees with them. So you can check any uh, pair here, and you will see that indeed this is a median uh, order. And the key lemma, a very difficult, uh, surprisingly difficult, um, is that 
uh, between this, if we have a median domain, or alternatively, another good case where you have the whole pyramidohedron, then between this relation on D uh, is the same as geodesic between this in the associated graph. So let me, de uh, uh, let me show you uh, it's on, on, on this example. This is not a median domain, and uh, between this relation uh, on D will not coincide with geodesic between this. Um, okay, so uh, if you took uh, AB, ACB and BCA, then these two will be between them. Uh, because uh, this is just the reverse of that, so anything which uh, anything is between them. Uh, but um, what is geodesic between this? It's uh, on the shortest path. So BAC is on the shortest path uh, between um, these two. So uh, this is the only thing that is geodesically between. But these are two orders uh, that are between, uh, in the sense of domains. So in this case, geodesic between this and um, um, between this um, do not coincide. And that is a key lemma that uh, allows us to do whatever we can do. Now the third concept, I'm sorry, the yet another new object. It's a median graph. Uh, median graph, um, it's a connected uh, graph such that for a every three distinct vertices there is a unique vertex which is uh, MABC, here now I have to assume uniqueness, which is geodesically between every pair. So here uh, MABC is between A and B because it's on the shortest path from A to B. It's between A and C because it's on the shortest path from A to C, and it's between B and C because it's on the shortest path uh, from uh, B to C, and it's uh, unique, it's easy to check. Okay, the main theorem connects uh, everything now together. So what it says, the domain is median domain if and only if it is closed Condorcet domain. So you see Condorcet domain was uh, in terms of uh, majority relation, but the median domain was uh, in terms of betweenness, but in fact it's appeared that it's uh, uh, the same thing. And uh, for every closed Condorcet domain, the associated graph is median graph. So now these two things come together. And conversely, if you have a median graph, uh, with a set of vertices V, there exists a closed Condorcet domain uh, on a set of alternative, uh, and you need no more than vertices in V to construct uh, such a Condorcet domain. And this Condorcet domain will have associated graph exactly uh, G. Uh, this is the main result. But let me show you some... some uh, now, this is a contribution of Adam. Adam showed uh, that you, you see in the previous result we have uh, this restriction that uh, uh, we need um, no more than as a number of vertices uh, for alternatives to realize uh, this uh, median graph. And that the worst case scenario is when you have a star graph. So if you have a star graph with n vertices, um, you cannot, and I have to say also that graphs are median, um, so uh, any tree is a median graph. So, so this is a tree, um, <coughs> so it's a median graph, and you can realize it with four alternatives, um, but you cannot realize it with three, and that's uh, what Adam proved, that with a star graph you cannot realize it with le less than n alternatives if, you, if star graph has n uh, vertices. Okay, so I'll show you also some beautiful pictures. It's not our invention, but um, 
so this is um, what is uh, what you see here. It's a maximal uh, Condorcet domain for uh, for alternative. It's not only maximal but the largest. So it has nine linear orders, and it's a tiling domain. Tiling domain. That's a uh, invention of um, Danilov and Kashevoy. So you have here the lowest point and the um, upper point in this zone gone. And every snake uh, here uh, is a linear order in this picture. For example, you have B, D, A, C. So that's here. But you have also D, B, A, C. And this is here. So, so these are tiling domain. That's another maximal Condorcet domain. It's also tiling domain. It has uh, one little square. It has only eight orders. Um, this is a classical single crossing uh, profile. So that's a corresponding graph is just a, a path, uh, a, a line. So <clears throat> uh, this is how uh, permutahedron in the case of four alternative looks. Um, it's already 24 vertices, this polytope. And here is uh, what I show here is not connected in a classical sense, uh, Condorcet, maximal Condorcet domain. So uh, these two uh, parts of it. But uh, in our, uh, our associated graph is a cube. Uh, so it is, it is connected. And that's uh, just for curiosity. That's the um, um, largest uh, Condorcet domain for five uh, vertices. That's uh, what associated graph, uh, how its associated graph looks like. So this is um, <coughs> uh, distributive lattice. And uh, uh, Chemini and Nimbois and Danilov and Koshevoy uh, they showed that maximal Condorcet domain is always a distributive lattice. We slightly generalized it to closed Condorcet domains. But there is a condition. That, um, you have to have two completely reverse orders. Otherwise, this is not true. So this maximal Condorcet domain does not have two mutually reverse orders. Uh, it's easy to check because B never goes below second position. And it's not uh, distributive lattice. OK, well, uh, interesting thing that we started uh, to look at single crossing condition on trees, but eventually we were disappointed. Uh, we were totally. Uh, now uh, feel about trees not so good because it appears that median graph of a maximal Condorcet domain is never a tree unless it's a, it's a chain. So now we feel that uh, the more natural object is a median, median uh, graph than a tree. So what are the further questions? Uh, well, uh, I, haven't st ever, I haven't seen a complete uh, account of maximal Condorcet domains for even four alternatives. Uh, that wouldn't be too difficult, but that would be a good project for a student. Um, permutahedron is just a Kelly graph of symmetric group relative to the uh, set of generators permutations 1, 2, 2, 3, and minus 1, n. Uh, and uh, I think if we, um, but th this is not the only set of generators for a symmetric group. So if we change the set of generators, then Kelly graph will change, and probably disconnected domains in the first case will become uh, connected. So it's probably connectedness or disconnectedness, it's only matter of choosing the right set of generators uh, for the symmetric group. Uh, another interesting, very competitive uh, question is that um, uh, let's uh, take mn is the maximal number of orders in the Condorcet domain with n alternatives. So what's known 
that that was uh, most efforts uh, went into this. Mm, and uh, uh, four values are known. So for three, we have four maximum number. Uh, for four, we have nine maximum number. For five, we have 20. Uh, I showed you that uh, lattice. Uh, Fishburne uh, did enormous amount of work and proved that uh, for six, the maximum number is 45. So actually, Monjardet had this example and uh, Fishburne managed to prove that it's maximal. However, uh, we don't have, we don't know uh, M7. And uh, with Magma computing package, uh, uh, I believe um, uh, it's possible to extend this uh, sequence. So I if you are a student and thinking about uh, a project or for a dissertation, or uh, that would be, uh, I think, very good set of questions. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, gr it grows exponentially. Now, is there any lower bound or upper bound you have? Any general construction at all? Oh, there are some, there are some bounds, um, yes. But my talk was, um, was not about numerical uh, values and, and bounds. But as there is some like, general construction for all the simplicity of the well, size. Well, uh, a lot of a lot is known about tiling domains, so about this uh, tiling domains, and um, there were there are some uh, numbers uh, for maximum values of tiling domains, and they uh, go quite uh, far. But uh, disconnected domains, uh, they don't. Uh, we know nothing about cardinality of disconnected domains. Yeah, and um, and uh, uh, there are uh, observations that at least by n equals 16, um, uh, these tiling domains will lag behind. Some other domains will be better. Disconnected ones. I have a comment. Oh, um, the, yeah, so the original motivation you gave us was Single-peak domains are an example where you get natural restrictions because you then you you put some ordering on the alternatives, right? and so you can imagine that, that you you end up with this sort of cutting because somehow people agree that that there's a, some natural ordering of alternatives. Single-peak domain is one of the maximal domains. Yes. I mean, is there, is there a sense in which the, that there's some logic behind the order? Is is there a natural ordering? So I guess. Well, um, uh, if you, uh, if you, uh, there are um, several identical notions. Uh, Danilo Kashavoy calls this casting, and uh, 
uh, Fishburne calls this never conditions. Um, so they, um, exact, they specify for, for each triple um, what, which four combinations are, are available. And um, there are four different never conditions, uh, according to Fishburne. And Fishburne found that, especially uh, the first one and the second one, if he, alter if, if he alternates uh, these, he can get quite large domains. Um, all these, these never conditions uh, kind of analogs of uh, uh, what you are saying, that. Uh, uh, that uh, single pickedness uh, can be seen as one of these never conditions. So, what fraction of these uh, domains would be single peaked? Um, that's a good question. Um, Does it go to either one or zero? Does it then become plus? Um, Well, uh, firstly, uh, you mean these domains that means Condorcet, uh, closed Condorcet, or maximal Condorcet domains. Um, that's a good question. I, I haven't thought about this. Um, no, uh, just one uh, one combination, uh, so you have to, uh, instead of com combining four different never conditions, you have to apply the same one all the time. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I will think about it.